In a one week surgical medical camp organized by Mission to Heal, covered Christian care, together with a green environment program director Evelyn Nisima Chikafunda, in Risha Sub County Lumanda District, more than 400 people turned up for review, where 96 of these successfully went through surgical operations. During the course of our week here, We've been taking out lumps. Some of those are benign, things like lipomas and other things that give people problems, opening a belt or a brassiere strap or something. Some of those are hernias, and those are men that have carried these around for a long time. The medical camp that spent one week at Rija Health Center 3 offered free surgical services for hernia, hydrocells, palma, goit and burn wounds, along with other services for malnutrition management, among others. Tofil Kagyar Gokwe, a resident of Ugonji Village, Muhumura Parish in Rohingya sub-county, one of the beneficiaries from the medical camp, says that he has been diagnosed with hernia for the last two years. He says that after realizing that he had gotten complications in his abdomen years back, he went to Moko Health Center 4 for a shake-up, where he was told he had hernia and sent back home because they couldn't work on him. Kagyar Koko further says that on hearing the call for the medical camp in Rohingya, he had to use this opportunity for him to be worked on, Thanking every Chikafunda for partnering with the service providers to reach out to the people in the area. Yes, Senator Chobujisha, a resident of Chiyebe Parish in Rihisa sub-county, said that she was stranded with her daughter who had grown swellings on the cheek and under her breasts. She adds that when they went for checkup in the hospital, they were told to raise one million Uganda shillings for them to be worked on, and because of the poor conditions they were in, they couldn't raise that money, hence returning home without being worked on. Marawe nyaka ikumi ni itano, ya meri le chintu hii tama, e chindi cha mera monsi hivye. Na mutuwara monsika ni wajina ngundonde, e milio ni wawone kumushia meza. Ezo sente ndo moro, nti na hoku ziha. Kuna ahulirogu wa muranga, na zaruhija, awajungu na ashangawali, ya wali kora harobu gobu gwele, omana wanje wa mushia meza. Na ija nawe buti ya limoka na hulira nasima. Chikafundo otere hoporo guramejo mazimanda musimantine ugaruchiro haugoku wana antine choku koronga na mule chile nga ugume nko kwae. According to Professor Green Greyhood, the founder and chief executive officer of Mission to Heal, they work in central and eastern countries of Africa, revealing that their being in Rhesia is the tenth mission in Uganda. Professor Green says that amidst the free surgical services they offer to communities, they also identify people who take care of patients and train them in special skills so that these skills continue rotating in the communities when they leave. It's a very long time in Uganda. This may be our oh, eighth or tenth mission here. We've got two more scheduled. And so in August, we welcome you to come when we're actually operating as opposed to just now packing up. We're here in Ruhija, but we had been previously in Muko. We're usually about a week at a time. And during that week, what we do is identify the go-to people, those who have to take care of patients, and train them up to get to a special skill such that that skill continues after we leave. So our objective is to take the people here and enhance the care they give. One of the reasons that we're here, and I'll introduce you to him in just a moment, is that we have trainees that then become trainers, mm. so that it's Ugandans teaching Ugandans. And the Muhammad Biaruhanga, a health trainer who started as a trainee with Mission to Heal, reveals that over 400 people were reached out in this one-week medical camp, saying that 96 of these successfully passed surgery. Biaruhanga further says that, as Mission to Heal, they have a follow-up program for patients to ensure proper recovery. The system, uh, which we use to make follow-ups, every patient will enter him behind the system, they, since that they may I keep around in Uganda, I'm the one who always call them, ask them how they are doing, uh, how far they are taken to heal. Then I even call the health facility in charges to see if they have uh, uh, like uh, people who are complaining that yeah, a surgery was done but I'm not doing well, which we haven't received anywhere. 
So the system is there. We keep following. Although the campsites with surgery free services, they moved along with other volunteers to provide other health services such as nutrition education and treatment of both elders and children. This also said that the goal is not only to treat the patients but also to train the community and healthy workers on how to handle simple complications. Uh, and Healthcare is is a human right, and everyone should be um, able to to get healthcare. I think the the patients we treated this week could have a, a few of what like really good healthcare means, like on on a on a high standard. Mm. And I hope that this that this project now will will have like a an impact an impact mm. to uh, to the people the one week medical camp in Hisham County Rwanda district ended today mission to bring such good education to local healthcare practitioners in the most remote areas of the world by teaching a variety of basic and intermediate surgical skills aiming at sustaining effect that enhances the medical capability of health centers around the world nobody yamachi for Kigali television